Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is another monthly favourite and I'm going to be chatting through everything that I've been loving throughout May. Um, as usual, I've got a mixture of things to show you and I've also got some new in fashion pieces as well. So kind of a few what's new in my wardrobe pieces too. Um, as usual, everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Any questions about anything at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I'm gonna get going and I'm going to start off with the lipstick that I'm wearing now. And I feel like I've spoken about this briefly in a recent video, but I am loving this. I've pretty much used it every single day since I got it. And it's the Maybelline Superstay Final Ink Liquid Lipstick. And this is just brilliant. I mean, I love a lipstick that stays in place anyway, like especially when I'm filming all day, if I'm filming reels, um, it's nice to just be able to put my makeup on and it stay in place if you're eating. This just does not budge. I, put up, I popped it on this morning and it stayed on all day and it still looks perfect. Even when I go out and have lunch and I have this on, I mean, it comes off slightly, but it's pretty much still intact. And it's the most beautiful, like peachy nude, really gorgeous color, really lovely formula. It's kind of like, it's a liquid lipstick, but it's not, it's almost like a satin finish. So it doesn't dry matte and like crack like some liquid lipsticks do. By the way, sorry if the light keeps changing. It's like sunny one minute and then really dark and cloudy the next and raining. It's been a bit of a weird day. So if the light keeps changing, that's why, because I'm filming in natural light. Um, but yeah really really love this really recommend it i will leave it linked okay sticking with makeup and my next favorite is a new release from laura mercier and it's the tinted moisturizer blush in the shade corsica and this is basically like a mix between a cream and a liquid blush i will insert some cutaways so you can see the formula close up but it's such a beautiful product. I'm actually wearing this today and I did show me applying it today as well. Although I was, when I was applying it, I was kind of like doing it in the viewfinder above the camera. So I'm not sure how good the cutaways are going to be, how blended it's gonna look. Um, but it's just such a beautiful product. The color of this is so lovely. It's kind of like a corally, like a warm peachy corally blush, but then it's got a slight hint of shimmer to it. More like a, it gives more like a luminous glow rather than a shimmer. It's got, got this really beautiful goldy glow to it. And you only need a really little bit and then I just, you can either use your fingers or obviously use a stippling brush to just dab it in with. And it just blends out beautifully. Um, and obviously you can build it as well. It's really buildable. So you can just use a tiny bit for a nice subtle glow or you can build it to give a really beautiful, like more of a peachy blush as well but it lasts really well obviously it's really hydrating being a tinted moisturizer blush I've only used it a few times because I haven't had it for long but so far I'm really really loving it and then a similar product but this is a highlight rather than a blush and it's the pillow talk beauty light wand in the shade medium and I have mentioned this in a previous favorites video but I use this pretty much every day throughout May so when I was thinking of like my favorite most used products of the month I had to mention this and I say a similar product to the previous one because they're a very similar tone. So I just pop them next to each other. So this is obviously the highlight. And then I've just put a little bit of the blush next to it, next to it so you can see. The tone of them complement each other really well. So obviously they're great worn separately, but they also look really lovely together. This as a blush kind of more here, and then the highlight sort of brought up onto the top of your cheeks. So if you just see the swatches next to them, they just they blend together really nice and give that lovely, glowy summer skin. And again, you will see from the cutaways that I actually popped them on together today. I'm wearing both of them together. And I just think they give that really lovely, goldy glow, that beautiful kind of summery makeup. Um, and yeah, I've just been really enjoying that highlighter. And I think a liquid highlighter is really lovely for summer as well. Another beauty product I've been loving recently is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturising Makeup. And I've actually had this for a while, but I stopped using it. I think it was because I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation so much, loving that, but I am running low. And so I thought I'll try something else, just switch it up a little bit. And I started using this a couple of weeks ago and I am loving it. It's just, a, it's actually a very similar formula to the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the fact that it's nice and lightweight. They come in a very similar tube as well. It's very lightweight. It feels super light on your skin. 
it blends in really beautiful and it still shows like it's a really lovely coverage but it still shows your freckles through or any kind of like um you can still see your real skin underneath it so i just use one pump and then kind of buff it all over my skin i am wearing it today and i just think it gives a really lovely glow it stays put all day and i'm wearing it in the shade 3w1 tawny and it's a perfect match for me and yeah oh and also it's got spf 45 which is great for summer as well and then the final beauty product that i've been loving recently that i discovered last month are the nano bronze bronzing drops from indeed laboratories and i've never heard of this brand before never tried anything from them before but i received this in a pr package tried it out and i'm loving it and i use them it, it says bronzing drops but it's basically just like a almost like a liquid bronzer so it comes out like that it's actually quite quite pigmented it's darker than it looks on the back of my hand um but i just use the tiniest amount and i put it on after i put on my um moisturizer and my primer i then put it on top of my primer and it just gives a really lovely glow to your skin and gives you kind of like especially if you're more tanned on your body than you are on your face it kind of matches up your glow on your skin um and it just yeah just a really nice base for to then put your foundation on top of but you can also mix these with your moisturizer if you prefer for a slightly lighter look or you can mix it with your foundation but it just blends in really nicely it doesn't go streaky it's not orange it gives a lovely natural glow yeah and i've been really liking them so i will leave those linked as well next up is a fragrance and it's joe malone basil and neroli and i haven't actually used that much of it because you only need a, i literally just put on one spray either side and then just dab it in you don't need a lot and it smells oh, it smells so beautiful it's very I mean it's a hard fragrance to explain because of the basil it's very it's very fresh it's very clean um but it's also that little bit different as well it's kind of it smells different to any fragrance that i've actually smelt before i am just going to read out the description online because it's always easier that way <laughs> so it's got top notes of basil it says the herbaceous warmth of basil with a peppery edge adds an unexpected twist to the vibrant citrus notes it's got heart note of neroli the hand-picked blossoms of the bitter orange tree. Neroli is a green floral note, wonderfully clean and fresh. That's where the clean and fresh comes from. It infuses the fragrance with the elegant scent of orange flower and then base note of white musk. Powdery and clean, it enhances the trail of the scent, adding a softness that endures. It's just really, really beautiful and lovely for spring, summer as well. It, it does it's got like that cleanness to it but it's also got that powdery softness to it as well and it's just um yeah and then obviously the basil gives it that hint of something interesting as well um but yeah i've been really enjoying that so i thought i would mention that too and then sticking with beautiful fragrances my next favorite is this diffuser from rituals and i've never had a diffuser from rituals before but i've heard people raving about them and how good the scent payoff is and I can now see why. This smells incredible and it makes the, don't get me wrong, I have only got it in the bathroom, so it's quite a small room, but every time I go in there, it just smells beautiful. It's such a strong, like not overpoweringly strong, but it's just a really lovely, clean fragrance. I also think the bottle looks really nice as well. Oh, and actually it's so, so strong in fact that usually with diffusers, sometimes you can't really smell them that much, can you? But this one, I started off having eight sticks in it and I took half of them out because I thought, actually, I don't want it to run out too quickly. I'm going to just use four. But even with four, you can still really, really smell it. It makes the whole of the bathroom smell beautiful. And this is in the scent, The Ritual of Karma. And I think it's white lotus and white tea. Um, but again, it's just a lovely, clean, fresh, slightly floral, just beautiful scent and the bottle's really lovely as well okay moving on to fashion and i've got a few fashion favorites to show you but also a few new in pieces from amazon fashion so i'm going to start off with a new in piece and it is this cute little mini basket bag and i actually mentioned this in a previous video and i said i was going to order it i'd spotted it online and i just thought it was perfect and when it arrived it was just everything i wanted it to be i mean the shape of it is just perfect it's such a cute little bag i love the fact that it's got this top handle and a crossbody strap which is removable as well it just clips here 
Um, so obviously you can hold it like this, you can put it over your body, you can have it on one shoulder. The only thing that I would say is on me, the strap was a little bit too long. So you may see that I've just tied a knot in it, both ends, just above, just above there, I tied a knot either side, just to make the strap a little bit shorter. And for me, it's perfect. Now it's just been lifted up slightly. It sits at the perfect place, but before it was a little bit long. Um, and I'm five foot six for comparison. So just, yeah, just for reference. Um, but obviously you could remove the strap if you prefer it about. I think it looks really cute just without a strap on it too. I think for a holiday bag, for a little summer everyday bag, it is gorgeous. Like the tone of it is really lovely. It looks so much more expensive than what it was. And it does also come in a lighter option as well, like a more like a pale cream straw too, which is lovely. Next up from Amazon Fashion are a selection of hair clips. And these come as a pack of four. So you get two of the large ones and then two of the small, obviously two are slightly lighter and then two of like the darker tortoise shell as well. And I just find these so handy. The little ones are great if you just want to pin a little bit of hair back. These are really handy. Or if you're putting your hair, like sometimes I'll wrap my hair into a bun and then just grip it in place at the back. I just think they look lovely. I love the style of them. I love like the dark and the light tortoise shell. I think they're around five pounds for the four, which is a really great price. And they feel nice quality as well. They feel sturdy. I did actually have this one in for a couple of reels I filmed recently. I'll, I'll pop the reels in here. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it in, but I just had like a little bit of hair down the front and then half pin back with this grip in. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks nice. A little bit of a different style, but so easy. Just kind of a, like a, just makes a change. Next up is this stripy linen dress. And this has got to be the softest linen I felt. It almost feels like it's been washed and worn time and time again. It's got that lovely, soft, worn feeling to it. In fact, actually, let me just double check it is 100% linen because it was called a linen dress online, but I don't actually know if it's 100%. Okay, it's not 100%, it's 55% linen and 45% viscose. So maybe it's why, maybe that's why it's that little bit softer. It feels really lovely on. It's got the look of linen without that kind of slightly more, sometimes linen can have like a slightly crisper, thicker feel. Um, but this just feels so, so comfortable on. Um, I styled it for the cutaways with a basket bag and tan leather sandals that are also from Amazon Fashion. And I just thought it looked really lovely like that. And I think the style of it is such an easy um, throw on dress in spring, summer, but it also looks really chic at the same time because of the collar style. It's got that slightly smarter look. It does come in a few different color options. It was under 20 pounds. And I also think that you could switch up the belt as well if you wanted to style it with like a tan belt to change up the look a little bit. I think it would work like that. You could even smarten up with a belt and um, some smarter shoes and wear it as workwear, I guess. And then a couple of fashion favorites that I actually got from Amazon Fashion last year, but they have come back out again recently and I've been wearing them a lot the past month. First up is this gorgeous black midi dress. And if you follow my channel already, you've probably seen me rave about this before. You've probably seen me wear it quite a lot, but it's just such a great dress for spring, summer. It is so comfortable. It is, I think it's Lyocell or Tencel or that kind of fabric. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's 100% Lyocell. So it's got that lovely, slightly silky feel to it. It doesn't crease easily. It hangs really nicely. And it's just such an easy dress to throw on when you don't know what to wear. You can dress it up with gold jewelry, even a red lip. Um, and yeah, I just think it's one of those pieces I will bring out year after year, super flattering. Um, and it does come in a few different color options as well. So I will leave this linked and then you can check out the different color options if you like the style of it. And I actually wore this dress when I went to London last week and I sat on the train for over an hour. I sat for lunch, um, like eating lunch in it. Um, it was super comfortable. It didn't crease at all. And I just felt like, yeah, just felt nice in it. Oh, and it has also got pockets as well. And then my final fashion favorite from Amazon Fashion. And I also got these last year, but they are still available this year. I have worn them so much. I wore them loads last year and I've just recently started wearing them again this year since the weather's been nice. And it is this cute little pair of linen shorts. And these are just great. They are so timeless. They are so comfortable. They just look great styled with a white linen shirt or even like a, like a sleeveless shirt like I'm wearing now. 
um, or just a t-shirt and a blazer they look really lovely again really lovely soft lightweight linen super comfortable they've just got a tortoiseshell button at the front and elasticated detail at the back they do come again in quite a few different colors as well i actually got them in the navy last year I haven't actually worn the navy as much as these um but i just love this really pale like natural linen color um especially styled with white and with tan accessories as well um so i thought i would mention those because i just think they're such a great buy i think they're around 20 i think they're actually under 20 pounds and just a really great purchase for summer and also just to mention in case you're wondering the outfit that i'm wearing now is also from amazon fashion i've got on this white linen shirt and then i've also got on my blue levi jeans which i got both of these pieces i got over a year ago as well um but they are still available so i will also leave them linked i'll pop in a cutaway of these jeans obviously you can't see them properly but um i'll put in a cutaway so you can see them on properly but they're just great pair of levi jeans always a great price at amazon fashion as well and just a very lovely simple linen shirt um, and then my final favourite, and one I actually almost forgot to mention, but I just looked down and spotted it and it reminded me, um, but it's a jewellery favourite and I like to try and include a jewellery favourite in each of my monthly favourites. Um, and I would say my most worn new in piece, my favourite new in piece, is this gorgeous gold signet ring from Majuri. And again, I mentioned this in a previous video, so I won't talk too much about it, but I just put this on. As soon as it arrived, I put it on and I haven't taken it off since. It is 14 karat gold, so it can stay on all the time. And I just love how it looks on my ring finger. And I actually got it to wear as a signet ring on my little finger. And I do love how it looks on my little finger, but I ordered the wrong size. Um, so I put it on my ring finger and I actually really like how it looks like that as well i just think it's such a gorgeous style just a very simple gold ring with the line of tiny diamonds running through it I'll check i'll check the size i ordered and leave that next to the link in the description box um just for comparison in case you're wondering uh but yeah really really like that and also i do have an ongoing discount code for 10 percent off my jewelry which i will pop in the description box um but that is everything that i've been loving throughout may I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, everything will be linked below in the description box. Any questions about anything at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.